Welcome to City Life. I'm Beverly Thompson. Following the retirement of Tom Bonfield, Durham is now in the search for a new city manager. It's an important position with far-reaching impacts, so the decision must be made in a thorough, deliberate, and intentional way. Joining me to talk about the importance of this process and the way it's being conducted is Mayor Steve Shul. Welcome, Mayor, and thank you so much for joining me. Beverly, thank you so much for having me. It, it is a really important topic, and I'm glad to be here. So, Mayor, let's first put this in context for people. Durham is a city manager form of government. Explain to people what that means. Sure. What that means is this, that the city council hires the city manager, and the city manager then runs the day-to-day -day operations of the city. There are some cities uh, around the country, especially some of our larger cities, where the mayor is actually the person that runs the day-to-day -day operations, but that's not true in Durham. We hire a city manager to do that for us. And I really like that because it means you get professional management and not political management. Uh, and uh, so, for example, when I became mayor and uh, Mayor Bell left office and I became mayor, we didn't change our city managers. We had a great city manager and he stayed in place. Uh, he was with us for 12 years. And it gave us wonderful professional management. So it's a system I really like. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what exactly does a city manager do? The city manager sets the uh, strategic and, um, and uh, direction for the staff and oversees a staff of nearly 3,000 city employees and makes sure that, that that work is well managed. The city council uh, makes the policies and sets the overall strategic direction. And then the manager mm -hmm. makes sure that the council's directions are carried out and make sure that our city, uh, all of our basic city services are done at a really high level that you're, when your trash needs to get picked up, your trash is picked up. Uh, when fires need to get put out, fires get put out. When emergency vehicles need to arrive, you know, all those things that we uh, are, are so much, so, so important to city government, making that all work is the city manager's function and it's a super important job. Uh -huh. So who officially selects and hires the city manager? The manager will be hired by the city council. Uh, the, that's one of the most important jobs that I feel that we have as a council is to hire a good city manager for Durham. We have only three employees. The council employs the city manager, the city attorney and the city clerk. And I don't think there's any more important decision that we make than hiring a good city manager. So we've really got to do a good job of that. Mm -hmm. Well, explain to people what are some of the complexities and challenges that face the city manager in Durham and what are some of the best aspects of holding that position here in Durham? Well, I'll, I'll start with the complexities. Um, you know, Durham is getting to be a big city. We're over 280,000 people now. So that means that uh, you know, people that, that it's harder and harder to provide the services that we need over a large population and a you know large geographic area, and the the functions of the city are complicated. You know, uh, it's everything from the planning department and all the rezonings and all those kinds of things that we handle to, as I said, you know, making sure the trash gets picked up, making sure there's really good planning for our water system. So we'll have a great supply of clean water for the next hundred years. You know, it's a big complicated job and the, and the tasks that the city manager has to, has to uh, think about are just, it's a very wide ranging, you know, you th and then there are the things that come up that are controversial and the manager has to be involved in them. Not just, not just we as city council members and myself as mayor, but the manager. So you think about, for example, policing, we want policing that is very effective at, at fighting violent crime, but at the same time is not over policing communities of color. And that's critically important. And so the manager has to really help uh, add, you know, important guidance to that. Um, and so all those, you know, it's a big job and a complicated job, but also this is the second part of your question. It's also a job where it's a tremendous opportunity. I mean, we have an incredible city staff um, and you know that, Beverly, because you interact with all your colleagues every day. And this city is so blessed to be well-led, not just by our city manager, now by our interim city manager, Wanda Page, 
who's been with the city for more than 30 years and knows this city inside and out. But the leadership of this city and the employees of this city are first rate. I'm always so proud of our staff. And to be able to, for a manager, to be able to walk in, a new manager to walk into this job uh, with the staff that we have, I think is just great. And we'll be, a, I think that they'll be able to, to be off and running really fast. Uh-huh. So Mayor, based on all of those factors, what kind of person and experience level is the council looking for in our next city manager? Well, I'll tell you that in terms of experience, we're looking for experience. We're looking for someone. We, we have a national search going on, as you know, Beverly. And this means that we are looking for someone. We're looking for the best person in the country that we can find to be the city manager of Durham. We have a national search and we're looking for the very best. And that does include experience. We want somebody who has a big experience, either running a city the size of Durham or, you know, potentially someone who's a deputy manager in a very large city who has a big port management portfolio. Uh, we're looking for someone who is creative. We're looking for someone who, especially someone who is really good with people, who's a great manager, who can motivate, uh, already highly motivated, but continue to motivate a highly motivated workforce. We're looking for someone who loves Durham, uh, who wants to be a person that we, Durham has, we have our own values that we are very front and center about, you know, values about racial justice, uh, values about equity, values about inclusion. And we want a manager and we will choose a manager who puts those values at the, at the forefront of their values. So all of these things are very important. Uh, we want somebody who can live the values of Durham and make those values live within our city organization. And I am confident we can find someone. Mm -hmm. So, well, based on that, are candidates from within the city organization being considered, or is it a nationwide search or a mix of both? It's definitely a nationwide search, but we welcome internal candidates for sure. Um, We are, we, uh, we hired, for example, internally uh, for our city clerk and for our city attorney, uh, and we can certainly do that. uh, And we know we have great people within the city. We also will be looking around the whole country. Um, for the best person that we can find. Mm-hmm. So we know our neighbors to the east um, just hired a c- new city manager and yes. they certainly selected someone from within, but they did have a number of applicants to apply for that job. I mean, do you expect that? I do. I think we'll get a lot of applicants. I mean, Durham's a great city. Who wouldn't want to live here? Um, you know, the, uh, the opportunity to be the city manager of the city of Durham is an amazing opportunity. I think we're about the 70th largest city in the country now and growing. And everybody knows, let's be honest, that Durham is one of the best places in the country to live now. That's why we're seeing so many people come here. And I know that we will attract amazing candidates uh, and we will give everybody a fair shot. Uh-huh. So, Mayor, I know you mentioned earlier that we um, have an executive or looking at hiring a, an executive search for, firm to conduct a search for us. So, but what are the steps involved in hiring the next city manager? Yeah, well, let me be clear first again, as you asked earlier, Beverly, the, the actual hiring will be done by the city council itself. That's a big job of ours. But to assist in the search, we have... Um, we, we are actually now in the process of choosing an executive search firm to help us. And uh, we have an RFP out and that search firm needs to do a lot of different things. Uh, they need to be a firm that has wide contacts throughout the nation in terms of experienced people who can come to Durham and do this job well. They need to look at everything through a racial equity lens. We really want to make sure that our search firm is seeking out uh, uh, candidates who are people of color, uh, candidates who uh, are, we want a diverse pool to be considering. And we are asking that our, whichever firm we hire, make sure that we have that racial diversity and gender diversity in the pool that we are looking at. Super important. Uh, we want, mm-hmm. we want a firm that, that, um, that can help us through lots of different steps in the process. Uh, you know, th- there are lots of different ways that you can, uh, organize a search process, and we want help from the firm in order to do that, setting up the interviews, all of those kinds of things, just the, 
the nuts and bolts and nitty gritty of the search that will help the council do the job well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is critical, isn't it? Making sure you have the right executive search firm in place to assist with all these complexities. Uh, and speaking of complexities, how will the public be involved in this process uh, with COVID and um, Zoom yeah. calls? Now I can imagine that makes it a lot more uh, complex than it would mm -hmm. have been. It does. I think we've seen that in everything we've done in city government, haven't we, Beverly, that all of our so many more complexities. Um, yeah, that that's going to be important. Uh, we may need to make sure and our search firm, we need, and, and one of the things we put in our RFP for the search firm is we need the firms who are applying to, to do this work for us to tell us how public involvement will occur and the involvement of our employees. And so that'll be part of the plan. Uh, we will need to have good public involvement uh, and good employee involvement so that our public and our employees also have important input into this process. It will have to be done virtually. Um, we can't have large groups of people together, unfortunately, as we all know, but there are ways to do that. And we're looking for a search firm that's gonna make that happen for us. Uh -huh. So it's gonna to be totally up to them to decide how to make that happen or- They'll advise us. Direction. Okay. Yeah, they'll advise us on what they think uh, ought to happen with the public engagement, and uh, then we'll see if we think that's enough, if they're moving in the right direction, we the council, uh, but we will have ultimately decide on exactly how the public engagement will happen, but we'll take strong, you know, what we want these search firms to do is to give us their expertise, and they have experience elsewhere, uh, and so that should help us. Uh -huh. So I know the city council has a subcommittee to help guide the search. Which council members are on this subcommittee, and what will it do? Yeah, there are three council members, uh, myself as mayor, and then uh, council member Deidreana Freeman and council member Javier Caballero. Uh, we're the three person subcommittee uh, that I've, I've appointed to just help with the, again, with the nuts and bolts. If for, I'll give you an example. Uh, when our, our HR department uh, put together um, a, um, a request for proposals for the search firms, the subcommittee reviewed that. We then gave it to the entire council for any comments they might have had, because we want all council members involved, but the subcommittee gave it a real intense look, each of us members. And so we're just trying to assist and move the process along. Okay, alrighty. So Mayor, you already talked about the role of the executive search firm. Is there anything else uh, that they're going to be uh, a key factor in uh, helping the subcommittee as well as the council do in making a decision? Well, I, again, I want to stress that the council's, the decision really is up to the council. Uh, but what I would, I would say is that we want them to get us a wide, a, they, we want us to, them to have a wide reach nationally to bring us an awesome set of finalists. Um, and, you know, sometimes they, they'll bring, I've been on searches previously, for example, uh, where uh, they might bring us 20 candidates to look at their, just their resumes, or 15, or 10, and then we cut those down to a group of finalists. It could be five, you know, it could be three. When, when we had the search for the police chief, we ended up with three, uh, and then down to two really strong finalist candidates. And of course, we got so fortunate by making, you know, Manager Bonfield made the right choice with, with our wonderful Chief Davis. But a lot of times, that's one of the things the search firm does, is reach out broadly, bring in a group of candidates. And, it, and I want to stress again, we want the pool of candidates to represent the diversity of Durham. We want to make sure that in our pool of candidates, in our, in our pool of finalists, that we are reflecting the diversity of Durham and that we have a diverse pool to choose from. So Mayor, what is the expected timeline for having a new city manager in place? Well, I'll tell you, we're very lucky because we have an interim city manager now, Wanda Page, who has incredible experience with the city, is dedicated to being our interim city manager. The council unanimously appointed her. Uh, as he was leaving, our, you know, before he left, city manager Bonfield recommended her to us. We all agreed. Uh, he, she had a chance to work with him. She's had a chance to work with him for many years. She knows how to do this. So we're in a great spot. We don't have to hurry. Uh, we are well taken care of. Beverly, you know this. 
you worked with Wanda for many years and you know how fantastic she is. So we're in a spot now where we're comfortable. We have a great interim city manager and we'll take as long as it needs to take to do this. I do expect uh, that it, it, it sometime uh, next summer, um, you know, in that time range, uh, we would, we would have, uh, we would have a city manager in place. Uh huh. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add or something you want people to know about the search process? I think that uh, I'll just emphasize that to me, this is one of the most important decisions that we make. The city manager's job is so crucial to not just city government, but to our whole community. So we'll do this with care. Uh, we'll take the time it needs to get an awesome person. And uh, we will, I am really confident that we're going to have fantastic candidates and a really diverse candidate pool. And we'll make a really good decision for Durham. I have a lot of confidence we will. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Mayor. I really appreciate your time as always. This is an important topic for the people of Durham. But like you said, we have a great person in place now. And all we have to do is go through the process and um, see how it ends, right? Exactly. Thank you, okay. Beverly. Thank you for having me as always. All right. Thank you, Mayor. If you'd like to find out more information about the city manager search, you can go to durhamnc.gov slash 4333. Well, that does it for City Life. And don't forget to follow us on social media, watch us on Durham Television Network and on YouTube and listen to our podcast on iTunes. I'm Beverly Thompson. Thank you for joining me to learn more about city life in Durham. Uh-huh.